Good afternoon and welcome to Mindfulness Moment. You can take a seat, sit yourself up. Um, you can choose to be on the ground in a cross-legged like position if that's a comfortable posture for you. You are most welcome to sit in a chair, maybe it's your office chair or uh, a chair with a, a nice foundation that you could root yourself down on. We come to this practice, uh, mindfulness practice, to slow down a bit, to take a break in the day, just to come here now, to come here now, to meet your body, to open your body to your breath, to check into sensation. So again, sit nice and tall, you're upright, you are steady. You can release your hands down on your thighs and just close your eyes for a moment and just breathe in. Deep breath in through your nose, filling up, and a complete and full breath right back out through your nose. We'll do this again, fill up, the breath filling you up. You feel your belly expanding, your rib cage expanding, your chest lifting, lifting, lifting to your breath. As you empty, as you exhale, releasing, releasing the breath completely. One more time, inhaling, filling all the way up. This breath practice, a wonderful anchor for us to come here now, to remember the now. Empty, empty, empty. Go ahead now and drop your chin to your chest. Just take some rolls of your head and neck. You feel your way into the body. Good afternoon to all who are joining us. Feel your breath here. Simple movements, being very aware, again, very awake in the body, noticing. And as you notice, try to notice without judgment. This is part of the mindfulness practice as well. Inhale as you reach your arms up, lift up, just stretching, expanding, opening nice, and tall and strong. Go ahead and drop your right hand onto the ground and take your left arm way up and over. You get a good side body stretch into this move here, opening up, feel your body. As you inhale, go ahead and rise right back up to the center, reach your arms all the way to the sky, get really tall there. Left hand can drop to the ground and the right arm goes up and over, up and over. You can spin your chest up towards the ceiling, deep breathing in and deep breathing out. Good, coming back to the center, reach your arms all the way up, get nice and tall there, beautiful. Relax a bit with the head and neck and interlace your hands back behind your head. So you can let your fingertips just drape over the base of the skull. So you feel those big strong muscles there at the base of the skull. You can sneak your thumbs to the hinge of your jaw here and open the chest, open up, lifting your chin, your chest and deep, deep breathing here, opening. Feel the breath in the body. As you take a deep breath in here, we're just gonna turn to the right. So this isn't a very deep twist. Your arms stay as they are, right? Your hands interlace back behind your head and a little twist over to the right side. Come back to the center, a nice full breath, and then go ahead and twist over to the left side. Finding your way here into your body. Inhale, come back to the center. Reach your arms all the way back up. Lift and lift. A little movement here in your wrists. Take a look at your hands for a moment. Bring your hands right out in front of you. Bring your hands right out in front of you. And then take your palms together and rub your fingers, rub your hands together. Let your eyes move to the hands. This is actually a really good softening relaxation for your eyes. Just gaze center, right? You see the movement of your hands. It might look like you just have one hand here. Feel the energy flowing right into the hands, the warmth here, nice full breath. Go ahead and slow that down, slow that down. You can lift your gaze and then just shake out your hands. And you might feel, again, a lot of energy right at the tips of the fingers. Interlace your fingers now, interlace your fingers, turn your palms forward, arms are nice and straight. Then integrate the arm bones back into the shoulder socket before we lift. So again, the arms flow forward, then draw the arm bones back and then lift the arms up. Oh, big stretch here. Beautiful. See if you can keep your thumbs engaged and your index fingers. I mean, your pinky fingers touching one another. That's it. Relax through the head and the neck here. A nice deep breath. 
Good, gently release your hands, your left hand down onto the ground and right arm up and over. Turn the palm of the right hand to face down and breathe in and breathe out. This time we're gonna to go to the center. Drop that right hand out in front of you. You might just tap the ground or the air out in front of you and then go up and over to the other side. A big stretch through the side of your body, nice and full. Bringing that arm very intentionally forward, a big stretch here, a big stretch. Tap the fingers into the air or onto the ground one more time, up and over to the right side. You might bend that left elbow. You might go a little further here. Arm goes forward, tap the ground or the air around in front of you and the right arm up or left arm up and over. Breath is full. Good, back up to the center you go, back up to the center you go, bring your hands together and be intentional about this. Again, this is a mindfulness practice. So go slow, the hands going right over the nose, the mouth, the heart and here now, deep breathing. Good, release your hands. We're gonna come onto our hands and knees now. If you uh, don't need any props really, but if you're working, I'm working on a rather hard surface today on tiles. So I wanna have something underneath my knees to protect the knees. You can move everything else out of the way. Come here down onto the hands and knees, find a, a real clear alignment here and then start to flow into a cat position, dropping your chin and rounding into the back body. And then as you inhale, you go forward, your collarbones are wide and breathe like that. Let the breath guide you here. Let the breath guide you. Inhaling, filling up, exhaling, emptying, emptying, emptying. So notice it's the anchor of the breath, the inhalation, the exhalation. And we, these are just tools for us to be moving towards the now, being in our bodies very clearly. And now as you're here, feel free to start to freestyle this, right? You can maybe swivel into the hips. Maybe the hips are a bit tight today or your lower back, wherever you are. Be uh, considerate and kind and be aware here. Pay attention to the, the things that are feeling good too, right? You might feel strong in your core today, opening yourself up. Just be here, moving gently, moving completely. Go ahead now, tuck the toes under so you get a good toe stretch there. Your toes are tucked under and then pull your hips back, pull your hips back. You can drop your elbows down onto the ground and just release yourself here, just uh, head down. If you're in a chair, you can do the same thing here. Your feet are on the ground and just taking a nice uh, gentle forward bend. Feel a little movement of breath here. Let the head drop nice and full, nice and full. And take deep breaths. Inverting with the head down is, is really a nice, nice way to be kind to your body. Just taking a break here. This is a mindfulness break. Let the head drop. Try to release and allow any tension that might be hanging in your shoulders or maybe tension in your arms or your hands or your wrists. Just let it move down into the ground. Nice deep breathing. Good, we're gonna come back up onto all fours. And now we're gonna to transition to stand. So if you have a practice that includes a downward facing dog, you can reach your arms way forward and tuck your toes and pull your hips up and back. If you wanna just come to stand and take your time to do that. I'm moving my blanket off to the side so that I'm gonna have a nice clear space to work into. So being here now, finding your way deep and clear with your breath, standing, standing tall. Take a moment to move the chair back and out of the way. Feet are hips distance. This is a very strong grounded pose. Turn your palms forward and engage your core, right? Lifting up through your core. Heart and chest are nice and open here. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side and then lift the arms all the way up to the sky. Turn your palms forward and reach for your right wrist and take yourself way up and over to the left side. A nice side body stretch here. Deep breath in, deep and clear breath out. Come back up to the center, nice and strong. Grab hold of that left wrist and take yourself way up and over to the right side. 
Nice full breath. Come back to the center here. Come back to center. Take your arms out to the side. Deep bend in your knees and go down into a forward bend. Once again, releasing, releasing, releasing. Hang heavy here. Your arms are dangling. Relax the head and the neck. And now we'll twist the right hand to the left shin. The left arm reaches right up into the sky. So a big stretch there. Straighten that left leg. Straighten that left leg. You're nice and strong there. Opening up. Feel a stretch into the lower back, up into the shoulders. Exhale, gently release. Arm comes down, take a breath in through your nose. This time the breath comes out through your mouth. Ah, let it all go. Let's take the twist on the second side. So it is the left hand to the right shin, the right arm up, up, up to the sky. So lifting, expanding, deep, clear breathing. That right arm can come forward just a little bit more. That's right, just move it forward towards your ear. Nice deep breath. Exhale, gently release, let go, let go, let go. Press down into the ground and slowly roll yourself all the way up. Good, arms come out to the side, lift up. Deep breath here, exhale, bend your knees and down we go again into a forward bend. Simple sudden breath. This time we're gonna come up halfway with our hands on our shins or maybe your hands are on your thighs, wherever you need to be. So engaging through that lower back area, you can look forward, nice clear breath, exhale, gently release right back down. Press into the ground and rise back up, arms lift and breathe deep, big stretch. We're gonna go right back down, exhale, forward you go. Big swan dive here, lung open, heart, Back body is open. Inhale, halfway up. Stretching, exhale, releasing. So if you find that you get a little bit sleepy in the middle of the day, this is a good thing to do. You can take a few sun breaths, rising up, rise back up. Arms lift, lift, lift up to the sky. Palms meet, and then again, intentional. You're right through the midline, over the nose, your mouth, and to your heart. Really nice, beautifully done. Release your arms. Gently bring your hands right on top of your shoulders. You can roll the arms around a bit. We work the whole body in this practice. One of the things I adore about it. Step the right foot way forward and step the left foot back. So right foot goes forward, left foot is back. Feel this, we're gonna steer, right? Kind of steer the torso square, but let the hips be rather free. You don't have to work so hard with aligning the hips forward. Just let the hips be free and then start to bend into your front leg, right? That front leg starts to bend, opening. I'm, I'm noticing that I can go a little wider here, front to back. So I'm walking that foot forward, nice and full in your breath. Lift the arms back up to the ceiling. You have this nice open space here. Nice full breath. Take the arms, this time interlace them back behind you or rest your hands on the back body. Beautiful option there. Lift your chest, lean back, lift your chin, lift your chest. You can look up to the sky. And now as you exhale, flow forward. So I'm gonna come down, arms lift, and then I'm gonna use my breath and lift myself right back up. See how intentional you can be here, right? Exhale, going down slowly, chest is open, arms lift up to the sky. And then use your core, use your breath and lift yourself right back up. One more time, a little flow. Exhaling down you go. Great controlled energy here. Inhaling, rising right back up. Beautiful. Release your hands, shrug your shoulders. And I'm gonna be intentional about this move as well. I'm gonna heel toe, heel toe my back foot in. And then come to stand nice and tall. You're standing in that Tadasana pose for a moment, core energy. Close your eyes and just take this in. We, we've done a little work, right? On that right side body, feel how it might feel different. Good. You slip your eyes open, left foot forward and right foot goes back. Step it back. Again, I'm not instructing the hips very much but put your hands right here on your shoulders. Roll into your arms, get a nice little movement here, head and neck. Sometimes it's a little secret hiding place for tension. Maybe it's not so secret, you might feel it. And then start to bend that front knee. Bend it, gently widen it out to the side. Your chest is nice and full. 
Breath in, breath out, arms lift. So traditional posture here, very nice. And you're showing up, right? You feel your heart lifting. Put your hands again back behind you, interlace, so rest the hands on the lower back. Straight front leg now, that right left leg is straight, hinging at the waist, hinging. I'm gonna bend my front knee as I go down and then inhale, I'm gonna rise back up. So coming back up. So let's bend that left knee. Let's bend that left knee. Come down and just undulate your spine on the way down. Use your breath, get to the bottom and then lift yourself right back up. So you can feel the legs are working. You feel your core energy strong and steady as you go lower yourself down, relaxing your head and then gently lifting yourself right back up. Beautiful, release your arms, intentional. Bring that back foot in, heel, toe it, heel, toe it, and you are here now. We'll take a wide-legged stance. So I'm taking my feet out wide and be comfortable, be safe here. I feel like I can get a little bit wider today. It's pretty warm out. So feeling pretty open in the body. Hands can rest very lovingly, softly on your hips. Bend your knees, stick your hips way back on the way down, long spine. And I'm gonna crawl my hands forward, right? If you wanna put your hands even on the chair, if you turn yourself around, if you have a chair there, you can put your hands and rest them on the chair and just be here again in an inversion. You're upside down. Shifting the energy, try to balance the weight distribution on your feet. So you don't want to be way forward on the balls of your feet, nor do you want to be hanging back in the heels. There's an evenness here, a balance, if you will. You can move and straighten the left leg, bend your right knee a bit and do the other side. Left leg is bent, right leg is straight. Good stretch in through the inner thighs the relaxed head and neck. Give yourself permission to release any stress or tension you might be holding in the hips. You can just kind of send it up your spine, up through the shoulders, the head and neck, and just release, release, release. Press down into the ground and gently rise back up. Slow, steady, opening up. You're gonna heel, toe the feet in, heel, toe the feet in. And now you might find your way to a seat in your chair. If you want to stay on the ground, right? I can do that with you too. If you want to be in a chair, it's fine. Or you can stay on the ground and do these pretty much same postures. So sitting nice and tall, got this upright spine. I'm, I'm sitting away from the back of the chair, right? Sitting away from the back of the chair. Take a moment and I'm going to hug the right knee into the hip socket, hug it in. And now you can take a minute to move around. We spend a lot of our day, um, typically our work day is spent in the chair, in a seat. So keeping the hips and the lower back nice and open is really crucial to the well-being of your body. Put your hands here on that right shin and give it a little swing, keep the right foot flex, and then cross ankle to knee ankle to knee. Now, for some of us, that that's knee might be lifted quite a lot. That's okay. Even out your pelvis. And eventually, eventually, as you're here, right, as you breathe into this place, maybe that leg drops a bit. Again, important to keep the right foot flex that protects your knee. Put the hands back behind you. I'm grabbing kind of the the chair itself and then shrugging the shoulders together. Lift up your chin and your chest full, full breath and pitching myself forward. So I'm gonna to try to hinge out of the weights. I don't wanna just automatically round here. I'm gonna hinge out of the weights, keep the front ribs lifted and deep breathing. You feel a good stretch here into that right hip. Your breath is nice and full, in and out. Go ahead and lift yourself right to an upright position. Take that right leg, interlace your hands back behind that right leg, right? Interlace your hands right back behind that right leg. Kick that right leg forward, open yourself up. Nice full breath. And then slowly gonna drop that right heel down to the ground. So now I have a straight right leg. The left leg is bent. Pelvic floor is nice and engaged here. And again, I'm gonna do this hinging. You're gonna feel a nice flossing here. This is a, what we call a sciatic floss. Some of you might understand that 
uh, tension in that sciatic nerve. Sometimes it creates a little pain or stiffness in your lower back. So moving yourself forward here and lifting yourself up, staying nice and tall. The heel is still down on the ground, the leg is straight. Put your hands onto the base of the chair and then just lift that leg, lift that leg and lift that leg. Quads are working, hamstrings are working. Lift and lift and lift. One more, lift, good. Bring that foot back. Reset yourself, sit nice and tall in your chair. Take a deep breath, empty it out. Let's go to the other side. So now the, the left knee comes in, roll it around a bit, hug it in. Massaging into the hip socket itself here, opening up. Trying to stabilize through the right side. Then taking the cross leg, I can shake this leg a little bit. I'm not grabbing the foot. You want to keep that foot flexed, kind of moving it side to side, eventually ankle to knee. Again, maybe this side is very different. Maybe this knee is a bit more lifted or even less, right? Sit tall and relax into it. See if you can release. This is a practice of letting go. That was a mantra that I used for a very, very long time, just to get the body to, to soften a bit, you know, just to soften, to relax. Very strong in your core, right? You're very strong, you're upright, yet the hip muscles are relaxing, the lower back muscles can soften a bit. Put your hands here to the base of the chair again, and then I'm flowing forward, I'm not rounding, I'm hinging out. You might go an inch, you might go two inches, you might stay in the upright position. Feel the stretch, feel the opening. Breathing in and out. Gently come back up. You're gonna bring your hands back behind that left thigh and extend that leg forward, flex your foot. So feel that, right? Lots of strength here. The hamstrings, the quads are working. Lower that leg with the heel of the left foot down onto the ground. Again, I'm gonna flex the foot. So I have a lot of energy through the back of the leg up into the hip. Hands here to the chair and flowing forward. Here's, here's our flossing. I go forward and I come back. Right foot is very stable, right? Rooted down, hinge forward, deep breathing. Inhaling, coming back up. One more time, inhaling forward and coming right back up. Steady and strong, you're lifted, lift that left leg. Lift it up, lift it up and lift it up. Use your core, the top of the thigh is working, everything working there. Drop the foot down onto the ground. <sighs> good, feel your seat. This is a good place to stay. Now we're gonna transition into our mindfulness meditation practice. You can stay in your seat. You can do meditation anywhere. You can walk your meditation. You can stand in a meditative state. You can certainly sit in a chair. I'm gonna come down onto the ground. I prefer the, the seat in a cross-legged position just because it's a comfortable seat for me and my practice. But come and be where you are. If you wanna lean back against the wall or against your chair, absolutely. The key to this posture, to this seat, we'll call it, no matter what it looks like for you, is an upright spine. We stay upright if we have the capacity to do that in this particular posture. Instructing the hands today, the mudra, it's a wonderful way in the practice to, to begin to kind of bring it in. I'm gonna bring the thumbs and the index fingers to touch. This is a Gaya mudra and relax the hands down. So we encourage stillness in the body. So you kind of settle into the pose, right? You settle into it. Now, granted, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of physicality in this. the pelvic floor muscles are engaged, nice upright spine. We breathe in. So there's an engagement center. The rest of the body, the shoulders begin to relax. The soles of your feet, even as you feel them rooted onto the ground. And just begin to find your way and mindfulness translated from the Sanskrit smirti means remembering now, just coming here, following the beautiful rhythm of your breath. 
this moment, this moment you can let your gaze get really soft, your eyelids relaxing. And just this, this moment. And again, relax into the stillness, into the peace. And the body will try to distract you. The beautiful mind will try to distract you. Perhaps inviting you to move or fix or change something. Just stay, just sit, stay is the practice to be here. The body is still. The breath flowing in and the breath flowing out. And really compassionately, gently, just commit to the stillness. Again, the, the mind might try to take you away to distract you from this moment. And you can honor that invitation to move away and just stay again, stay here. Finding the stillness in the physical body. Perhaps finding your way to the, the reservoir, the reservoir of stillness within. Shoulders soft, face soft. And the breath. The breath. Just a few moments here. Moments of mindfulness. Turn to your breath over and over again. Be here now. The breath flowing in and flowing right back out. Take a deep breath, fill it all the way, right? Belly and ribs and chest. And as you empty now, drop your chin to your chest. You can turn your palms down on your thighs now and just, just be here for a moment. A deep, deep breath, relaxing the body. Go ahead and bring your hands in front of your heart center and take a moment to, to sit in gratitude for your healthy body. We're taking this moment to pause in mindfulness and awareness, practicing with compassion, and generosity and ease. Take a deep and clear breath in again and then exhale, send out that energy, send it out into the world. We do this practice for the benefit of all beings. Keep your hands pressing and then reach them up to the sky. So you get really tall and light, press the palms together and bring your hands right here to your forehead. And here you can see, you can see the truth. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale your fingers right here to your lips and here you can speak, speak the truth. Take a deep breath in as you exhale your hands here at your heart and here you can know. You can know the truth. 
a full breath and empty. Namaste to you all. Thank you so much for the privilege and honor of guiding you through this mindfulness moment practice this afternoon. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, if you're celebrating this weekend, uh, the 4th of July out into the world, I wish you a safe, joy-filled holiday. So thank you all very much. If you have comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. Um, you can reach me uh, through Caitlin or reach me via my own email, um, evelina at yogasole.com. So thank you so much. Enjoy and take care.